Well, friends, I found me a nice little trail in the woods. I've been hiking on it. My truck is about a mile back that way, give or take. Now, I've never been on this trail before, so I ain't got a clue where it's going. When I found out it was further than I thought it was, it's when I decided to pop you in and give you a look-see. I'm seeing dog prints, dog tracks, or, well, could be coyote maybe, some kind of canid. Yeah, very big canid. Oh, and then that, right there, tip of my cane, that's not a canid, that's an unglet. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that would be deer, cloven hoof, track trap, that's what this type of surface is. No way of telling how old these tracks are, they're quite old. So, now just on the other side of the little creek, creek, ditch, drainage, whatever you want to call it, just over yonder there, there's a factory building of some sort. And there's another one over there. But they don't seem to have much to anything to do with over here. So, once I get something more figured out, I'll bring you back. Well, here's where the trail comes to an end. On the back side of a factory building. That's about what I thought it, where it was going to come to. If I follow it and go around that pond right there, it comes out. There you are know, three light poles there. It comes out by the third one. I've been in there on that side looking at this. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a good place to set up a camp. But I'll tell you what I have found on this hike. I have found something called ground pine. There we go. There's one of them. And I have found ostrich fern up the wazoo. So I will be coming back here to harvest ostrich fern. Now I know it's called ground pine, but that particular plant, that's all I can tell you about it as of this moment. Something I'm going to have to do some research on. I remember my grandmother pointing to it and saying that's ground pine and that's all she ever told me. And she was the herbalist where I learned from. And then, of course, as I said, ostrich fern up the wazoo. It's all in here, thick as thieves. So that's what I've got for the moment, almost a mile and a half from my truck. And I'm heading back that way, so we'll see you again. Well, on this hike, one more dab of evidence to deer habitation. Now it's old. That's a pile of deer scat. Just thought I'd share. It's no surprise the deer are loving this trail. Look at the size of these acorns. No wonder the deer are habitating back in here. Oh, 2,400 paces. And there in the distance, a quarter mile away, is the road where my truck is parked. So, you do the math and tell me how far it was. I walked in and then walked back out. By the way, don't forget to...